last night we spent a bit of time talking about family. So I wanted you to write out a monologue. A monologue about what family means to you. No one will know who they are outside of this room. So you will hand your monologue about what family means to you to someone else and they'll, they'll perform it. It's just about expressing what family means to lots of different people. My name is Bodie Morrissey. I am a participant in this 24 hour theatre. Yeah, it's been good. We've just been like getting to know each other and like giving ideas on what family means to us. I do have nine people in my family all together. I I'm basically the third parent. We started off with um, developing some characters and a bit of a story for them to slip into. And now we're in the final stages of writing out all the dialogue. So right now we are writing, if you haven't finished writing, and acting them out um, so we can have our show tomorrow. Tomorrow uh, we have to move out of here. Once we're actually at the hall, we'll, we'll get a short uh, rehearsal time. Once we get to, to two, we'll perform. We've got monologues to do, we've got our little shows that the two groups have done. Um, yeah, it should, should be good. I have a, a bit of depression that runs through my family. A lot of people tend to, to hide it, so it's, it's very hard to spot. Taking that step back to appreciate what you have makes, it just makes life a lot easier to, to look at and be happy about. Shane's autistic and he, he does kind of like what he wants to do. So he doesn't really listen to me and then he listens to Ravina heaps. There's mum and dad, then me as the eldest, then six children. So when I get a car, I'll, I'll definitely be the um, taxi driver because mum and dad will be too busy. A couple of years ago, my brother was diagnosed with Asperger's. I just, I felt really bad for the way I'd been training him for a lot of years, so I'd been trying to make up for it a lot. In the end, he's not any different. Like, he's still Lucas, he's still my little brother. When I, when I did leave home, I had a, I was um, in and out of jobs constantly and in and out of houses constantly and uh, partying and drinking and drugs and it was actually my mum that pulled me up one time and told me that I've always got a, a bed at her place if I ever needed anything. My mum works a lot of jobs, she has about six jobs and a lot of the time I do take it for granted. I'm like, well, why aren't you here? Why can't you do this? But there's always little bits that will snap you back to reality and you'll be able to be like, hey, my family is actually isn't all that bad. We've all had to grow up a lot faster. All these, all these bad things that have happened over the past few years I wouldn't go back and change any of them because they pushed me to where I am today and I couldn't be, couldn't be happier with where I am. We have three and a half hours in which you need to have your shows nearly done.
going to sleep because everyone is beyond exhausted. I'm tired. I'm pretty used to not going to bed. I went to sleep at five because I can't get to sleep ever. Like really tired. I could die. I am like manic tired right now. I'm fine because I'm pretty used to not getting much sleep. numbers of audience for something like this. It's not about um, it being a big extravagant show. It's about what you guys have gotten out of it. And I know I've had a really, really fun weekend. I've laughed more than I've laughed in a long time. And oh. cried <laughs> tears of laughter last night. And I think that that is what it's all about. Yeah, I'm kind of a bit nervous. Bit nervous for it. Like, if I go on stage and I f if I forget what I'm going to say. I am feeling 100% confident. I have no worries. I'm feeling kind of nervous because this is my first fear. I don't know. It's going to go great. I don't care. Yeah, I'm going to feel really nervous. But I hope we're going to I think we'll be able to pull together in time and put on a really good show. So thank you very much. And enjoy the Chris cards are up first. <laughs>